can welcome and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be reverting my hair but the issue with that being i'm trying basically all new products for this reversion process and we're just going to see if it's good or not and i don't like the color of that light um normally when you do um revert when you revert your hair you use products that you know are going to work for your hair so it's kind of i feel like crazy of me to try to use all new products but we're going to do it anyway and we're going to see how it goes so, so for this video i'm going to be using um Cura essence by care care i have been seeing this brand all over my social media for a long while and i always wanted to try it but it's always something that came right in front of it. Like, if something new came out, I was like, ooh, let me try it. And I tried it on my channel. And then I always put this brand on the back burner. But I seen it um, on someone's hair recently. Um, her name is Kells from Curls, I think. I'll put her name on the screen. And then you can go and find her. She has amazing hair. Her hair is so pretty. And it's colored, too. So if you, you know, want to go check that out, you can. But... I seen her try it on her hair and I was like, you know, why not? Um, so I'm going to be trying um, most of their products in this video. And to be honest with you guys, um, I bought seven of their products. And um, I don't think, I don't think I'm allowed to go in stores anymore because this, oh, I don't, I wasn't supposed to buy these products, but I did anyway. But it's okay, it's cool, it's fine. You know, it smelled bad. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there. It smelled bad, but I want to try it on my hair and see what happens. So, yeah, we're gonna try to put that on this. Um, I already have my water right here. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. I don't know if I use too much apple cider vinegar, which I'm just gonna go with it, like I said. And also, my hair was already reverting because, um, give you a little backstory. I the reason why I flat ironed my hair was for two reasons. I wanted to, um, do a style for my birthday, and I also wanted to clip my ends right. But the style that I was supposed to be doing for my birthday did not go right, mainly because, um, my on the day of my birthday, before I was supposed to style my hair for my birthday, you know, it rained. But it, my hair didn't, you know, revert all the way. But it just wasn't, you know, how it was supposed to be. So I was like, you know, I don't know what to do. And then I just decided, if you've seen um, um, the post in my community post, um, you've seen how I did my hair for my birthday. That's not the plan. That was not the plan at all. But I still did it and I still looked cute. So it was fine, but it's already starting to revert. So maybe, you know, I didn't put enough color wild on my hair. Because when I was seeing everybody else use it, well, the other lady that I seen use it on YouTube, it took her hair a good five minutes to revert. And she thought her hair wasn't going to revert. Like at all. Oh God, that stinks. So I'm going to come back after I finish applying this to my hair and scalp. Oh God.
over my head and I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out but I'm gonna come back in the morning cuz right now it is 10:48. well 10 49 now it is 10 49 right so I don't think it's a good idea to try to finish my whole hair routine tonight but before I go I'm gonna tell you which products I'm gonna be using um since I got seven I cannot use all seven in one wash day I mean I probably could but that's just doing too much in this okay I'm gonna tell you all the ones I got I got the moisturizing co-wash I got the um moisturizing leave-in conditioner the curling jelly the curling cream curl activator and I have two of the gels the moisturizing one and the stronghold one super stronghold one. and I was thinking what I was going to use in this one is the co-wash um the curl activator and the moisturizing gel and also the leave-in also the leave-in of course of course Okay, I'm back and it's the next day and I have rinsed out the apple cider vinegar rinse. Like I said, I rinsed it out last night, but I was not about to do my full wash day in the middle of the night because I did not want to go to sleep with my head wet because when I do that, the wash and go never comes out right because it's mushed. So we're not doing that. Um, but now it's time to start and first thing we're going to use is the moisturizing co-wash. And it says it's with Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. It's for hair types 3 and 4. And something that I noticed, I think all of this is pH balanced because at the bottom it has a pH of 5.5. .5 and it is 12 ounces. And none of this, none of these products went over $10. So it's um, inexpensive. Okay, the smell. Oh, mmm. It smells good okay 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 consistency is kind of thick okay it's kind of thick if it looks like a regular conditioner okay I'm gonna need more water because what is that conditioner and it is 
basically saying the same thing with your making black castor oil and coconut oil for hair types three to four with a ph of 4.5 it is 11 and a quarter ounce glycerin is the second ingredient in this uh um uh, okay um there's this um creator on here um bianca renee and oh she is a natural hair um influencer and she um is one of those ingredient conscious people and she did basically a whole video explaining what glycerin does and the ingredients that can come back glycerin so if you would like to know about that i will leave her video link down below so you can you know learn about that if you want to be one of those ingredient conscious folks you can really learn a lot from her because she is one of those people who will stick with the no sulfates no parabens all of that no matter what you know so yeah if you like to know more about that i will leave a link down below this is the leave-in conditioner if it focuses as you can see it's a little jiggly and the smell smells just like the co-wash you can barely tell i put anything on my hair so it's like i don't know how to feel about this product right now so yeah but i am going to detangle even though my hair is already detangled I'm gonna detangle with it in. Yeah, I don't know. This product isn't giving me no kind of feeling. Like, you know, it feel like I put some kind of water on my hair. So I have applied the leave-in conditioner all over my hair. And like I said, I don't know how I feel about it. I almost just dropped it. That would have been bad. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Will I continue to use it? Yes. I also want to try it in a shower. To see how that works. Um, but now it's time for the moisturizing um, curl activator. It says the same. The pH is 6.5. It is also um, 12 ounces. Yeah, it smells like the rest of the line. Okay, but the consistency is kind of thick, but not as thick as the co-wash. So yeah, let's try this on my hair. I think I'm going to add just a tad bit more. It's kind of making my hair curl up just a tad. So, okay. Okay, adding more water. So maybe that can help it do what it needs to do. I see some curls trying to define. Not a lot, but I see some. So I'm gonna add supposed to be but it seemed like construction is going on in my home and I didn't even know about it but uh I said that I was going to use the moisturizing one but I'm kind of torn now because I kind of want to use the stronghold one because I feel like the stronghold is going to give me what I want but I feel like the moisturizing one is going to give me a fluffy wash and go and I don't want a fluffy wash and go but I'm since I said I was going to use the moisturizing wash and go I mean moisturizing gel i'm going to use the moisturizing gel and we're just going to see where it takes us oh it smells good i would assume i 
I think that it's like some kind of fruit or something. And if you know me, you know, I love fruity scents. So I'm all for it. So now it's time to style the hair. And I put five sections in my hair because that's how I normally do it. Because I like to um, put a bang right here because I don't like a middle part all the time. Like sometimes, yeah, go for a middle part. But I don't like it all the time. So I section my hair in five sections, two in the back and then three in the front so yeah now it's time to add the gel i want to spray a little bit more water to help weigh down my hair so maybe it'll give me the results i'm looking for and whoa it is really thick like really thick oh it's defining my curls okay but like I said I, from I've seen someone else do um, a review on these and I on the gels and I think they said this one gives you a fluffy wash and go but we're just gonna see because right now it's giving me very much light hold but I still have some curl definition so that's okay Now it's time to let it dry and then I'll come back with it dry and my final thoughts on each and every one of these products. Well, not all of them because I didn't use all of them yet, but you know, just the ones that I used. So. Like I was saying, my um, camera died so I'm on my phone right now, but as you can see, this is a very uh, soft hold gel. Because you can still see some frizz in there. But you do see some curl definition. So it's okay. But I'm ready to try the um, Super Hold Gel. Because I feel like this would be better for my hair. And I'm also ready to try the rest of the products that I bought. And I also want to mix. Um, maybe the moisturizing gel with the custard. I feel like that will be doing something. I don't know what. But I kind of want to try that little experiment. I probably won't try that in like a full video. I'll probably try that in like a short or something. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. But before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And click that little bell button so you never miss the next time I upload. Bye.